So welcome to your American Center. Um, this is really a place which we have concerts and discussions and exhibitions and showings. And we really encourage you to come back. Don't let this be your last visit, even if it's your first visit, to really learn about the ways that the United States and India are working together in what I call a multiplicative relationship. It's not India plus the United States. It's India times the United States when we get together. And whether that's in moments of great opportunity, like expanding economic opportunities, looking at um, health issues together, combating challenges like climate change or other things, or when it's in moments like what we will see here today, where we face common threats together, whether those are military threats, whether they're criminal threats, we know that the United States and India, when we have a relationship that is strong, it is strong for our people and it sends a message to the world that we are here to preserve the peace and to look at ways to protect you and your families. We in, uh, cooperate on so many initiatives, um, many more than I have time to detail here. But last year when we had state visit of the Prime Minister to the White House, there were 173 different items we were working on as part of the agenda, from cultural exchange, educational exchange, Indian students are now the number one source of students to America, uh, more than double the next biggest country last year. Uh, we produced more than 10% of all the world's visas, a quarter of the world's students coming here to the United States. And when you look at the investments that are happening on both sides of the Indo-Pacific, they've never been stronger. But the unfortunate reality is, as much as there are those who want to promote prosperity, there are people out there in both of our countries who want to do harm to us and to our people. And this problem that we see highlighted here today of call center fraud is not a small problem. Some estimate, and most people think this is an underestimate, that this is as much as a $6 billion industry every single year. The perpetrators of these crimes are cunning, they're sophisticated, they're refining the script every single day, and every day they sound more and more realistic that it's somebody that we know or something we should be concerned of. They have a way of pulling people in. But these fraudulent interactions, whether they are virtual, the crimes are very real. We see the impact on real human beings of the damage that can be done when law enforcement can't do its job or don't know enough, which is why films like this are important because we can only have so many law enforcement officials in India and the United States working on this, and we've never had better cooperation. I want to thank the government of India for their close cooperation with the government of the United States on making sure that justice is served. And it can be call centers from the U.S. that are calling Indians. It can be Indian call centers that are calling Americans. Call centers really know no borders anymore. And so when we're vigilant together, we can help protect our people together as well. But we know the impact whether it's on elderly, whether it's on the poor, whether it's people on fixed incomes, they find themselves duped out of their life savings almost overnight.